GameStop. Everybody is talking about GameStop. I've never seen anything like this before. In this video, I'm going to do my best to give you a brief explanation as to what's going on with GameStop. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to share with you one of the most important stock scans that could possibly make you rich if you feel like rolling the dice. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this one. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, the stock dude, back on the prowl again. If this is the first time that you're coming to this channel, first of all, I want to welcome you guys and thank you for stopping by. And if you have not done so yet, I ask that you please hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell. That way when the next hot video comes out, you'll be alerted and you won't miss a thing. Like I always say, I'm not a stock expert. Anything you hear on this channel or any other channel, please do your own due diligence and research. All right, let's get to what you see on your screen. <clears throat> GameStop. Everybody is talking about GameStop. I got people calling my house, calling my cell phone about GameStop. What's going on with GameStop? Man, I've never seen anything like this. But basically what's going on with GameStop is this. You have basically a financial fight going on in GameStop. On one side, or shall I say, in one corner, you got the little guy, retail investors, people like you and people like me who don't have a lot. We are in one corner. In the other corner, you got millionaires, billionaires, companies, hedge fund investors. Now, what these guys have decided to do, the hedge fund investors have decided to take out what's known as a short position in stocks. Now, a short position is basically this. A short position means that hedge funds, companies, millionaires and billionaires, they'll place money, basically place a bet on a company's stock price to fall. So they'll pick a company that the fundamentals in the company are kind of so-so or bad and they feel that that company is going to continue to do bad and possibly eventually go out of business. So they'll basically place a bet on those companies and kind of force the stock price down hoping and thinking that the company will fail or continue to do bad. Now when you open a, a short position up, you make money as an investor if the price goes down. So that's what this is all about. Now, it's another group of guys called Wall Street Bets. They have an investment platform. These are the little guys. So what they did is got on the internet and they talked in those chat rooms among each other and decided not to let that happen to GameStop. So while the millionaires and the billionaires and the hedge funds and the investment companies are shorting GameStop, trying to force the price down so they can continue to make money, on the other side, you have Wall Street bets. All of the little guys done rallied the troops around and said, no, sir, uh-uh. We're not going to let you push GameStop 
stock price down and have them go out of business, we see value in GameStop. So the fundamentals have changed a little bit in GameStop. Not necessarily company fundamentals are great now for GameStop, GameStop but the sentiment, the way people think and feel about GameStop has recently changed within the past few weeks. So the little guys decided to get together and buy shares of GameStop. When they did that as a big group, they worked together, the price of GameStop shot up. On the other side, the millionaires, the billionaires, the hedge fund investors, the companies that invest in stock, remember, they are shorting GameStop. And they've been making millions of dollars for months because GameStop share price had been down so low for so long. They've been making money when the price was high by shorting it all the way down to where it was recently. But when Wall Street bets, little guy investors got together to buy millions of shares and millions of dollars worth of stock, the price of gain stock shot up high. Keep in mind, the little guy was making money. On the other side, the millionaires and the billionaires who were in those short positions had to come to a decision to buy shares of stock as well to close out their short positions. So remember, when you short a stock, you make money when it goes down. But if you happen to be wrong and the share price of that stock shoots up, you, as the one who's shorting the stock, quickly, quickly begin to lose a lot of money. So those guys that had millions of dollars on the short side hoping gain stops price would go down and crash and they would possibly go out of business, all of a sudden, they losing millions of dollars. And the only way for them to close out their losing positions is to buy shares of stock back. See, when you short a stock, you have to buy shares to close out the position. When you buy a stock and you hope it goes up, and you want your money and your profit, you have to sell shares into the market to get your profit. But if you're losing money and you're on the short side, you have to buy shares. See, it works the opposite way. So the only way that the millionaires and the billionaires and the hedge fund companies that invest in stock could close their losing positions was to buy. So think about it. On one side, the little guy is buying to make money and the share price rises. On the other side, the millionaires and the billionaires are also forced to buy to close out their losing share price positions. So it's like a, what you call a double whammy. The little guy's buying, he's making a price shoot up, and also the millionaires and billionaires have to buy to close out those losing positions that they have, and it causes the price to shoot up even more. Because if you look at this chart, in the beginning of January, the share price of GameStop, <laughs> look at this, it was only $12.05 at the beginning of January. And as you see right here on this day, which is what, the 13th of January, this big influx of volume came because news had came out that GameStop was seeming to turn the corner as a business and do a little better. Not do great, but do a little better than they were. So sentiment, the way people thought about the stock and the company changed. Price has been rising, rising, rising. So it went from $12.05 up to a high of over $480. Now, if you would have bought this at $12.80, $12.05, and it went up to over $480, you could have got rich, depending on how many shares that you bought. And believe it or not, a lot of people did get rich. But as you see, the price has skyrocketed up high. And as this price has been rising, 
the millionaires and the billionaires have been forced to also buy shares in GameStop to make the price go even higher because they're trying to get out of their losing trades. So you can make a lot of money, but you have to be careful. Now, for those that are brand new to the channel, I want to take this time to thank you once again for stopping by. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and leave your boy a comment on the bottom of the screen if you like the content that you are hearing. So once again, that's what's going on within the stock of GameStop. Now, something else that I want to touch on that happened. In order to mitigate and minimize risk, trade companies like Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, and also Interactive Brokers, they halted opening any new trades within certain companies like GameStop. Because the, what, you know, what happened with that is people were using margin. Margin is basically when you borrow money from the trade company and they hold your stock in your trade account as collateral. People were using margin to place these short bets to short stocks like GameStop. Millionaires, billionaires, companies, they also use margin. So when they use margin to short a stock like GameStop and they happen to be wrong about it and GameStop's price goes way up instead of going down like they hoped, they have to replace that money that they borrow and give it back to the company. And if the company that traded the stock who shorted it don't have those funds, millions and millions of dollars, then the trade company, Robin Hood, Interactive Brokers, Ameritrade, then the trade company has to put those funds up for the investor. So that is the reason that they halted any trades opening up brand new positions in certain companies because it was so much money that the trade company was responsible for putting up for its investors. You got little guys that were short and gain stock and you got millionaires and billionaires also were short and gain stock. And when you're wrong, your deficit, in other words, your loss in your trade account explodes. So that money has to be replaced. So that's why Robin Hood, Ameritrade, and uh, Interactive Brokers, they had to shut down the opening of new trades because they had a lot of risk. Risk to the investors on one side and also risk to the trade companies. So they shut it down. But what they did do is allow you as an investor to sell your position if you wanted to. Think about it. They allowing you to sell, but not buy. That is the reason that the price of these companies that were heavily shorted started to absolutely crash in a matter of minutes because all they're doing with the trade companies is letting people sell, but wouldn't let people buy. That might even be illegal. I've heard they got pending lawsuits because of that, but we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. So if you can only sell, but you can't buy, then that means that there are gonna be a lot of shares dumped into the market and nobody there to buy them because the companies won't let you buy them. I tried to trade, uh, uh, get an open position in AMC. Couldn't do it. It was rejected right through my trade account. So it was kind of pushing the losses to the little guy. And the funny thing is, the hedge funds and the millionaires and the billionaires were the only ones able to still buy. Think about it. You and me, we couldn't get in and get easy money. But the millionaires and the billionaires were still able to buy. So Wall Street bets the platform that's run by the local and the small investors, 
got together and said, uh-uh. Soon as we get a chance that we are able to buy, we gonna keep buying and we not gonna sell. They call it having diamond hands. In other words, strong, steady hands. These guys have decided to buy millions of shares of GameStop and a lot of the other heavily shorted stocks like AMC, uh, Nokia, uh, Blackberry, Bed Bath & Beyond. The little guys have decided to hold these positions with what they call diamond hands, strong, steady hands. Because as long as they hold those positions and do not sell, sooner or later, the millionaires, the billionaires, and the hedge funds will have to buy and get out of the position that they're losing money on and buy to cover those positions. So right now, it's a fight, man. It's a fight. The little man against the big man. The regular retail investors against the millionaires and the billionaires. That's what you're seeing right now. Now, what I told you in the intro, that if you hung around until the end of the video, I'm going to show you a stock scan that you can use that could possibly make you rich if you feel confident enough to roll the dice. Now, please keep in mind that if you invest in a heavily shorted stock, like GameStop, Bed Bath & Beyond, Nokia, uh, Blackberry, your money is at risk. So please be careful. But your boy gonna show you a stock scan right now that you can possibly find the next stock to explode like GameStop. Go to my, I'm going to my favorite website by the name of finviz.com. I'm on the home page. First thing you want to do is click your screener tab. Next thing you want to do is click your all tab. All it does is open up the whole page with all the parameters so you can see everything on one page. Click your all tab. Go down here to this parameter where it says price. Go to where it says price over four dollars all this screen does is pulls up stocks that are four dollars or higher in price average volume you want to put that at over one hundred thousand that way you can get in and get out of any position that you take gives you liquidity all right change this setting where it says options slash short you want to make sure that the stocks that you find that could possibly explode like game stock are optionable because you can buy option contracts and you can leverage and multiply your money so change that setting to optionable relative volume you want to set that to over one and a half that means that the stocks that this screen picks up will have 1.5 percent more volume than the average so they'll have above average volume that's all that means and also where's the last setting where it says float short. Change that setting, hit your drop down, and change your short float to over 30%. Because anything that's over 20% short float, which means people are in that same position where they've taken a short position, hoping certain companies' stock price will go down. So you, in this case, want to find stocks that have a heavy and a high short float to possibly catch those stocks going up in what's known as a short squeeze, which we just saw out of GameStop. So that right there, price over four, short float over 30%, average volume over 100K, optionable short tab, change it to optionable. So every stock that pulls up here, you have an option capability on it. Also relative volume at over 1.5. All of these stocks are trading the current day on Friday when I did this scan. All of these stocks are trading at more than average volume. Hit your charts tab and this will pull up stock charts 
for all of these stocks that could possibly, potentially make you rich if you catch them just right. Now, for those that don't know how to read a stock chart, I'm going to put a link to a video that I did in the past called How to Read a Stock Chart because this is very important, especially if you plan to trade any of these stocks that this screen has just pulled up, which are heavily traded. You want to make sure and make certain that you get into that position at precisely the right time. And if you don't know how to read a stock chart, you are not going to get in at the right time. So check these stocks out. And what you want to do is basically open up stock chart on each one. And my advice to you, I'm not a stock expert. I'm not a financial advisor. So please do your own due diligence. But my opinion as far as what you want to do is watch these stocks within this screen, put them on a watch list and save them to a portfolio right here on Finviz. Open up a free account and you can save these stocks, ticker symbols in a portfolio. And my advice to you is to watch these stocks carefully. Let them continue to fall as far as they will fall. Watch for these stocks to form what's known as a base, which means once they stop falling, turns green and they go up a little bit down a little bit and they trade in a range once that happens then you go to your option contracts and you look and you find a cheap option contract that can possibly make you a lot of money so there you have it it's your boy i'm the one known as the stock dude i've given you my own personal screener that can possibly, maybe, just by chance, make you rich. I'm the stock dude. Thank you all for watching. Take care and holler at your boy later. Peace.